Hello, we're here with Spotty, the blue and purple spotted lime green bear. My four-year-old son chose this fur, and oh, I was sure glad, because not only was this fur on clearance, they paid me to leave the store with it. Just kidding. <laughs> Matthew, he's adorable, <laughs> if you're watching this. Um, next we have, <coughs> moving on, we have a slightly more sophisticated fur my two-year-old daughter chose for her bear, and it's the fur we'll be working with today. It's pink faux leopard fur, and you can see the style on the back actually, a little the leopard print, pretty easy. But it is darker um, in spots on here, and this is what we're going to use today. Now, just to show you that not all furs are wild and crazy. There's uh, I have some other examples. There's just the regular regular white fur for like a polar bear, and ooh, it's so soft. And the back is kind of like kind of like carpet almost. It's so thick though and it's it's softer than the back of carpet. But um and it's you know, it bends a lot easier than carpet of course, but it has that real thickness to it and you're going to need that for a bear of this size. And uh keep in mind that this is the size of bear we're working. How how big is he? Let's see. He's uh Oh, he's a good 16 inches tall. So <coughs> Little, little over a foot. He's a, he's a regular sized bear, I would say. Now there's, there's uh, just brown fur that it has a frosted look to it. And these furs, the frosted ones, are really amazing. They're my very favorite. If you can see how they're dark on the inside, but the tips are frosted. And this one happens to be black, and then a tan, and then brown. And that's going to be a really pretty one because you can cut off the top, and I'll show you how to do it later. But the frosted ones really. Um, they have they they have a lot add a lot of dimension to those pieces those bears, and then we have some uh, leather that well, I just use it. So you can get scrap craft leather, and if you want, you wouldn't have to use this, but you can use this for the paw pads on the hands or the paw pads on the feet. If if you want to, you don't have to, and um, I'll show you how to do it on the paws, and then I'll show you some a different technique with the feet on what we're going to do today. <clears throat> the excuse me. The last one we have for an example, but we're not going to use it. It's just showing an example. Is they call it three eight three eighths inch ultra sparse mohair with dis with distressed finished finish. Um, lots of people love mohair, and I wanted to buy some just to feel it. Um, it's kind of expensive, but um, I bought it and felt it, and <laughs> I'll stick with the fake stuff because it's so much softer. I don't know what the deal is with the with this stuff. Um, I'm not going to make a bear out of it, but the only bears that I think would look good in this type of, the ultra sparse one, would be those antique-like bears that people make and they look all beat up and old and and like you'd have from, a, you know, if you had it forever from your childhood, something like that, that would be appropriate for that kind of thing. Oh, there is one other type of fur, and they come in all different colors, and you can find them... Um, on eBay, there's lots of sellers. They usually sell them in these little squares, and they're oh three to six dollars per square. But what it is is it's just a, a very short-haired. And this is, this would be for a miniature bear. If you have a, if you shrink your pattern down, or if you have a tiny pattern, you remember the size of your bears. You're going to have shorter fur, so um, you would use this. This is some kind of velvet, very short-haired velvet, and. Uh, it has that same rigid back, very solid, so it's gonna, you'll be able to pull really strong thread, so that way, you know, when, it, when you sew the arms together, the stuffing isn't gonna come out when you stuff it so hard. You're gonna need a very strong backing. Don't use any thin material, any thin, just plain fabric. It, it'll fall apart on you so quick, it won't, it's not even worth your time. So make sure you get a good quality, or, you know, it can be fake, it can be fake stuff, but make sure that it, it stays together. It's very strong fabric and thick. 